Good morning, CEC, and happy Wednesday to all of you. Today's gospel reading is from John chapter 15, verses 1 through 8. Let us read this together and pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and everyone that does he prunes, so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine and you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. Today's gospel reading uh, contains one of Jesus' seven I am statements. Uh, these statements that uh, where Jesus is claiming to be God, where Jesus is saying, I am the Son of God. Um, and so he's saying, I am. Uh, which is from, you know, taking from the Old Testament where God revealed himself to Moses in the burning bush saying, I am, I am who am. And so today's gospel reading, Jesus is saying, I am the true vine and saying that everything in our lives comes from him. So uh, we are the branches that come from the vine. Um, so we are connected intrinsically to Jesus. We are connected fully in everything that we do. And if we're not connected to Jesus, then we don't have life within us. We do not have uh, the ability to sustain life. And Jesus says here that everything in our life comes from him. All of our, our nutrients, all of our uh, all the events that happen in our lives all come from the Lord. And Jesus says, without me, you can do nothing. And it's true. If we're separated from Jesus, then we cannot do anything in our lives. It's very difficult for us uh, to stay on the right path if we're not connected to Jesus. So it's very important for us to know that really we need to stay connected to Christ in order for us to have life and have it in abundance, as he's going to say, uh, as he says earlier in John, um, that in order to be connected uh, and to be able to have life in abundance, we need to be able to stay connected with Jesus. Um, Jesus encourages us to remain in me as I remain in you. And, you know, really it's, this is encouraging us that Jesus is always going to remain in us. His presence always remains with us. The Holy Spirit is always going to remain with us, but we have to be able to accept the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives, and we have to be able to accept uh, the power that the Lord has in our lives and that we need to stay connected. We need to be able to accept the will of the Lord in that and accept what the Lord is doing for us. Sometimes uh, what the Lord is doing in our lives is not always what we want, but we know it's going to be for the best for us. Um, Jesus also says that with being branches, uh, we're going to get pruned. We're going to have uh, things in our life that get taken away from us. We're going to have um, gifts or talents or attributes that we used to have that we don't have anymore. And we're going to have things in our life that we're going to need to be separated from. Maybe that's a, a friend that we had in the past. Maybe that's a relationship. Maybe that's a family member. Um, maybe it's someone in our life who passes away. Um, but it's something that needs to be removed in our life so then we can grow closer to Christ. And that's the idea of the Lenten sacrifice too, why we give up something for Lent typically, because we're being pruned of that. It's something that we need to separate ourselves from in order to become closer to Christ. Okay, so I really encourage you guys um, today as we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Fatima, um, really being hearers, uh, not only of the word, not just hearing the word of God in our lives, but continuing and doing the word, uh, what the Lord instructs us to do. And what Jesus instructs us to do as part of his, his vine is to go and bear fruit to be able to spread the, his word to others and be able to show his kindness, his compassion, his mercy, and his love to others as well. And to, when he says to bear fruit, that means that we're sharing that word with others and we're helping to create a better world and being able to bring the world closer to him. So my encouragement to you, bear fruit, show others compassion, mercy, love, generosity in your life today, in, in whatever way that looks like in the midst of this uh, pandemic here. But also uh, create more disciples, 
tell your family, tell your friends about Jesus um, and the impact that Jesus has had on you in your life. Um, because really it is only by your testimony uh, that the church will grow and by your example that the church will grow. Since it is the feast of Our Lady of Fatima, let us pray together the Hail Holy Queen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. St. Francis of Assisi, pray for us. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great day, CEC.